Hi everyone, welcome back to GameMakerCast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're going to be checking out a plugin called S-Save. This plugin is a simple save file system for GameMaker, and it's 100% free. To get started, all we have to do is visit GitHub and click the Releases tab. Then we can download the latest release for this plugin. Now back in GameMaker itself, we'll import this plugin by either going to the Tools menu and selecting Import Local Package, or we can just drag and drop the item that we downloaded into the IDE. We don't need the demo files for this, so let's just select the S save folder and then import it into our project. Now some of the reasons why we would use this plugin is because it comes with a built-in manager so we don't have to create some sort of system to track everything ourselves. We can create values that are typed to prevent game breaking issues. We can also create multiple save slots or multiple configurations to handle everything for us. In addition to all that, it also comes with both encryption and encoding built right in. Now with that out of the way, let's actually set up a configuration file. Let's pretend one of our save files is going to be a configuration for sound. Our configuration will have the master volume, the effect volume, and also the music volume. Let's create a new script file and let's call this script file S save config sound settings. We have to make sure that we inherit the S save plugin and then we'll pass the value of sound as a parameter. This parameter is going to be what the file saves as, so we're going to have a file named sound.ssave. Finally, we need to transform this into a struct, so we'll pass the keyword constructor. The next step is going to be adding the values to this configuration. We can use the add value function and then we'll pass in the value that we want to be saved in the file, the type of value it is, and then the default value. We can copy and paste this and do the same for the effects and the music. Now that we have the configuration set up, we can switch back and we can start working on the save function. You can see in my object, whenever I press the F1 key, I'm gonna save my settings. So to get this working, we have to reference the S save class by creating a variable and then using s save get and passing in the configuration that we're looking for. In our case, it's going to be the s save config sound settings. Now we just have to call the reference save and the set function. We'll pass in the parameter for the value that we want to set and then the value that it currently is. Now we'll do the same for the effects and music. And finally, to save the file, all we have to do is call the save function. Now loading the file is pretty much the same. Let's reference our s save class by using save get and passing in the configuration for our sound settings. Now we can set the global dot volume master equal to the save get function, and we'll pass in the parameter that we're looking for, which is volume master, and then a default value in case it doesn't find it. Now we can do the same for the volume effects and the volume music. And that's it, that's all we need to do. Now if we load up our game and we hit F5, you can see that I can hit spacebar and I can refresh the values. I can also save them by hitting F1 and then changing the values again by using my spacebar. And if I hit F2, they go back to normal. Now I know this was a quick look at this plugin, but I'm actually gonna be using this plugin in a future video to show how to create your own level editor. So I hope that you have found at least this information useful. If you wanna be notified when that video comes out, make sure you've already subscribed and you've clicked the notification bell. A huge shout out to my Patreon supporters in no particular order. Legolas, Mika, Matthew, Midnight, Anton, Game Maker Community, Victor, Ashby, and Jean. Once again, I hope you have found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.